What's up, you two? See you. Oh, I'm lucky here. And I'm finally back from Japan after three weeks, you guys. Here with a new video. Hidden Summoners Booster Box Opening. And then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. So I would love to actually talk a lot about Japan and show you guys a lot of the epic product we got from Japan. Um, but we're going to save that for another video. I'm not sure if I'll split that into multiple. But we also have uh, more Japanese... Uh, Simply Lucky in Japan content as well. So I uh, just want to let you guys know there will be more videos coming up for that So be ready, but also in the meantime um, We do have the winner for the hero decks that I forgot to uh, shout out before we went to uh, for, Before I went to Japan, so uh, you are the winner for the hero decks wherever you're at and so apologies for that I meant to do that a little a little earlier um, Also, this is Hidden Summers. This is a new booster set. So all cards are on simplyunlucky.com you guys we have the uh, Sacred Phoenix cards in here. We have the Prank Kids cards in here, which is actually more of a close to top tier deck in Japan. So pretty good cards there as well. Um, the thing is, there isn't really too many expensive cards with this set, but this set has a lot of valuable cards inside. So, uh, but just not over like the $20 value mark. But I mean, it's a lot of like $5 to $10 cards for sure. So uh, definitely an interesting set. So if you guys were doing something new on SimpleLucky.com too, we have the... Uh, deck bundles so if you guys are interested in getting a prank kids deck together or getting your uh, sacred phoenix deck together we actually have bundles already prepared for you guys so check that out as well all right you guys so let's get straight into this booster box this is a rebirth of Neptunes. Um, i'm thinking we'll do one two three three-ish boxes maybe two or three boxes here um this is a new set so i figured i want to at least try to show you guys the whole set but of course this is a smaller set this is supers and secrets it's kind of the in-between uh core sets you want to call it we're going to call these expansion sets and then the others will be core sets so expansion sets have uh cards in it that expand the game so and then also have reprints and so hidden summers will expand the cards of course but also have reprints and then a core set would be like all new cards like uh, the newest set that came out or is coming out savage strike um so hidden summers you guys here we go and then uh, shout out to the Simple and Lucky Squad, uh, trying to keep it going without me here for a few weeks. Um, the Undead videos, I know most of you guys were kind of like, you know, the same concept over and over again is a bit difficult to get into. And I did make those videos uh, pretty late at night before I left to Japan. But overall, I appreciate the support and love for Simple and Lucky while I was gone. So thank you guys for that. All right, Hidden, hidden Summers, here we go. So prank kids, I actually kind of like the prank kids a lot because they remind me of tunes. So kind of want to make a prank, uh, prank kids eat that. Awakening of Nephthys, Hand of Nephthys, Knight and Sorcerer's back. D Synchro's in here. Why? Uh, maybe the zombies. Um, Oboro Gurumo, Gurumo, the Wield uh, Mayakashi. Yeah, Mayakashi. So uh, interesting card there. The Amayakashi cards actually aren't that bad, and the archetype itself is kind of fun, but uh, it is just more zombies. Kind of reminds me of Shiranui's, and there even are Shiranui cards in here, and I think there is a deck using Shiranui's and Mayakashi's, uh, but it's basically more Japanese-themed zombies. But uh, interesting, though. Ultra Polymerization. Onslaught of the Fire Kings. Straight bring out Phoenix, destroy it, and it comes back, right? Isn't that crazy? Isn't that how it works? Hand of Nephthys, again. Defender of Nephthys. So... Here's your new Phoenix cards. Um, maybe as we go through the next box, we'll go over the Phoenix cards. But um, yes, very interesting newer uh, new cards for supporting uh, Sacred Phoenix. Um, Daki, Daki, the graceful Mayakashi. So she's pretty cool. And then I want to show you guys something very interesting with our boxes from our cases here. Um, we so our first secret was this dude over here, but then my uh, the graceful Mayakashi was our second. And let's check out the next pack. I feel like it's going to be somewhat familiar. And it's another one. So our box, all of our boxes, you guys, actually had um, two secrets in a row every time on the side after the first pack. So I don't think this is how every case was. Uh, be sure to post in the comments below, though, if you guys had a case or had opened a box that did have some sort of ratio to it with the secret rares or even the supers or if you notice something interesting between the two different sides uh, let us know in the comments below because that's always interesting information but this is this is pretty crazy insane so basically if you're gonna get some of the prank kids secrets in here um, you're gonna have a pretty valuable box so 
Pretty cool. Uh, prank Kids Pranks. That's actually a really cool card. Uh, Manju's in here, 10,000 hands. One thing I also noticed, we, out of our case, we didn't get any short printed cards, so not sure how that's working for you guys, but interesting for Konami to change it up with Hidden Summoners, hence why the cards aren't too valuable as well, because uh, they are more easy to pull. Shiranu, Spirit Master, and Fulfillment of the Contract, but yes, yeah, seeing Manju in here as a super rare again is nice. Got your Prank Kids cards. So, let's see what else we got. Oh, Circle of the Fire King. So the Fire King cards support the actual Sacred Phoenix and Nephthys. Uh, Rebirth of Nephthys. There's your Ritual, I believe, for the deck. Phoenix Wing Windblast. Thunder Dragon is a super. Was it secret in uh, Kaiba's Mega Pack? And then Yuki Ona the Ice Mayakashi. So um, the Mayakashi cards are kind of cute. That's a, that's a cute little spirit girl. Zombie girl. And so we're thinking we're going to get another Ice Mayakashi in here. And we'll just kind of check real quick. Boom, boom, So two secrets in a row. It's a real thing. So far, we have the Mayakashi box. Man, oh here it is. Goes in match and rivalry of uh, warlords as secret rares. Both samurai themed. I like that. Though this is a classic card. Six samurais weren't a thing yet, but still, uh, very cool. Super rares for those side deck cards, and even sometimes main deck. And here's your fusion, your quick play fusion for prank up kids, pandemonium. Actually, it has pandemonium in it, so that makes me kind of happy. So. Let's keep going here. Oh, yeah, I was going to show the classic reprints anyways. So. Goes in match. Probably Warlords. And then also in here is a secret rare gold sarcophagus. Um, we were thinking it was short printed at first, but slowly it was just kind of the same ratio. So, uh, Refusion, Metamorphosis, Prank Kids, a Lamp Seas. So these Prank Kids cards, I kind of want to show you guys. So the Prank Kids deck is basically a fusion um, link deck that kind of just goes back and forth between the two types of uh, cards and just does kind of cool stuff with that. And I think it's a pretty cool deck. Honestly, I kind of want to play the Prank of Kids if I, or Prank Kids if I were to, uh, I don't know, make a newer deck archetype at the moment. So really cool. Um, and I'm not sure if there's more support coming out. You guys can let us know in the comments below. And then, oh baby, Prank Kids, a do do doodle do. Doodle do, dodo doodle do. There we go. Um, so this card's actually pretty sweet for the Prank Kids deck, and I wanted to take out Prank Kids Lampsies. Um, so first off, and this actually pack had Prank Up Rocket as well. So let me show you guys here. So the Prank Up Kids, you have the blue, the red, and the green. And so for the Rocket, you can kind of see them, the blue and the green one there, just kind of riding about. Do we see the red one anywhere? Um, but then difference for the Links versus the Fusions is the fusions for prank kids will have the they're chilling on the picture somewhere but then for the links they're kind of built in to the card they're see like their little energy circles or like mana or mana so interesting there's the red the blue and the green so i thought that was really cool um let's talk about their effects though so prank kids if this card's link summon you can add one prank and spell or trap from your deck to your hand so that's really good and then you can tribute this card to target two prank kids cards with different names in your graveyard, except a link monster and add them to your hand, and you can only use each effect um, once per turn. So, yeah, you can tribute this card to target two. Very cool. So, a do doodle do. Dodo. Do 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 doodle do. Okay. Basically, though, it's a lot of recycling. The deck replaces itself, and it has a lot of fun. And then there's cards that destroy all your opponent's monsters or all your opponent's smaller traps. So, uh, just there's ways to win, and it's kind of fun to go about doing that. And then here's the rocket. I believe this one is uh, this card's fusion summon. You can have this card lose thousand to attack directly. Um, you can tribute this card, target two prank kids, non fusion monsters with different names of grave. Special summon them, but they cannot attack the turn. They're enormous. So this is just brings out more of them. But yeah, really cool. And then all the prank kids search for other prank kids when you use them for a fusion or a link. So this one inflicts 500 damage, and then you get special summon one prank kids monster from your hand or deck in defense position. So, you'll see the other ones do the same. So, that's the Prank Kids deck. And again, we have it on sipandlucky.com if you guys are interested. Um, Flash Fusion, Matriarch. I guess not the full deck, just kind of like all the cards you would need from Hidden Summoners. And again, with the Double Secret. So, this is the really cool part of the Double Secret thing in our boxes over here. Is if we do get, um, you know, Prank Kids Secret, we're like, oh, well, we get another one right after that. So, that's freaking awesome. So, we got two Dodo Doodle 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 Dood
There we go. And Fusion Recycling Plant. Is this this card's not new, right? Because I actually didn't read this card before. And for those of you guys that are classic pl players, check this out. Once per turn, discard one card. It's a field spell. Add a polymerization from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Okay. Once per turn, during the end phase, you can target one monster in your grave that was used as a fusion material for a fusion summon this turn. Add it to your hand. What? That card's so cool. Fusion Recycling Plant. That's fun. Too bad they didn't have that like back in the day. So... It's funny, I was talking talking with Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, to a few different guys, uh, Japanese guys, and they were like, yeah, it's just hard to play the newer formats. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is the hardest, or the most popular card game in Japan, by the way. Um, kind of next to Duel Masters and Weiss Schwartz. Magic the Gathering's there, but not as you know, not as popular as this here, obviously. So, um, But yeah, so they were all mentioning how they really like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! But it got a bit complicated, kind of the way you know, Americans will uh, talk about it as well. But then they, they kind of told me they, they wish that the more powerful cards are the cards they continue to ban, like this, especially the Magic and Traps. They wish they would make them more archetype censored, or not censored, ar archetype centered. So, um, so like if a card is really good, like destroy all monsters your opponent controls, or destroy all Magic and Traps, it's centered around an archetype. So like prank kids have cards that do that. Um, same kind of thing. So like Foolish Burial, there wouldn't be a Foolish Burial for any monster. It'd be send one prank kids monster from your deck or hand to the graveyard you know or search out you know search cards would only search for that archetype so i just think that konami's kind of been doing that more often now than not to avoid um you know banned cards but it's still interesting that that's what you give players over there were saying uh prank kids dropsies so this is the water one and again um this one says you gain a thousand life and then you can special some prank kids monsters from your hand or deck in defense position one prank kid so basically, same concept as Lampsies when you use it for a fusion link. And uh, Sacred Phoenix. And then here's, uh, ooh, this is the uh, Cerulean Sacred Phoenix. And here is Prank Kids Fanzies. And this one is actually interesting. It says you can send a Prank Kids card from your deck to the graveyard um, when you use it as a send to the graveyard's fusion link. And then you also special summon. So that one sends, it's like a send to the from your deck to the grave. And then uh, the other one is gain life and then deal damage. So two doodle doos. So, a little different today too. We're not using a play mat. I was just feeling a little different after getting back from Japan. Just kidding. Uh, but yeah, Sacred Phoenix and Nephthys. This guy's really good. Uh, during main phase, destroy uh, Nephthys card in your hand or face up on the field. Then destroy on um, equal number of monsters your opponent controls. And the Nephthys cards actually combo up being destroyed. So by card effects. So that's cool. And then during your next standby phase, after this card was destroyed by battle or card effect, instead of the graveyard, special summon this card. So that's kind of your ritual version of sacred phoenix and so the classic sacred phoenix now is not obsolete i think you're still playing it especially comboing it with the uh some of those avatar fire cards um but the links though are pretty sweet tatsunuku yasha ultra poly onslaught another cerulean phoenix again we have two secrets in a row of the same secret so this is literally the best, best box you can get possible, guys, um, for us because of the way it's, it kind of goes. If we get both two or three of like the Prank Up Kids secrets. We got Doodle Doe. There's the uh, Water Dragon looking one. Uh, Refusion. Chronicler. Shirinui. And uh, Disciple of Nephthys. That's actually a pretty decently valuable card too. And uh, really good for the Nephthys deck, I believe. Um, Nephthys. So it's a, during your main phase, you can destroy one card in your hand, and if you do, add a Nephthys monster from your deck to your hand. Um, so that's that's really cool, except the Disciple. But that's really cool because that just allows you to search out a monster right away. And then also, though, if this card is destroyed by a card effect sent to the grave, so it can be destroyed in your hand, in your hand too, that's the whole concept, um, you can add Nephthys Spell or Trap. Same concept. So uh, really cool. It's kind of your searcher for the deck, your Stratos. So I think we're going to get another one of those right here hand defender circle rebirth disciple nice and last one i believe the first and last pack we don't get two of that's kind of how it works nice it's gasho gasha dokuro the skeletal mayakasha so this is the guy we pulled the least of out of all of our boxes by the way so if anyone's short printed for our cases it's this guy it's kind of the boss Mayakasha monster. Kind of looks kind of crazy. Looks kind of crazy. I believe he just brings him brings himself back very easily. So, last hope of Nephthys. Cool. 
All right, now for the left side. Let's see if we can get some more of those prank kids. That'd be nice. And then uh, we'll probably do one more box after this a little bit faster, though. Yeah, Japan was great. Sorry if my English speaking skills have uh, dwindled a bit because I barely... There's not much English speaking going on over there. Uh, Dropsies. Sacred Phoenix. Shirinui. Uh, Shiafu, the Wield of Maya Cash. Okay. Maya Cash. Let's see what else. So, again, we won't get doubles on the first, I don't believe. And Hajun, the Winged Maya Kasha. Um, Maya Kasha, he's actually one of the pretty good ones. Normal or special summon, you can special summon one Maya Kasha monster from your deck. Yeah. Except this guy. Pretty insane. So, uh, yeah. Everybody's thinking the Mayakasha deck's not too bad. It's definitely interesting. Circle of Fire Kings. Fusion Recycling Plant. Metamorphosis. And there he is again. I think uh, consistency-wise, he's definitely one of the better ones. You've seen the, sp the spell, though? The spell's insane. Uh, here's Prank Kids, a Weather Washer. This one is cannot activate cards or effects when Prank Kids monsters attack. And then during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you contribute this card to target two Prank Kids non-fusions with different names in the grave and special summon. Cannot be destroyed with battle this turn, so it's a way of defending, too. Shirinui, Rocket Ride, Yoko the Graceful, Mayakashi. More Mayakashi cards. We did get do 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 doodle do 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 But yeah, it was interesting just... Card games were definitely a lot more popular in Japan, but just uh, the kind of, I guess, more nerd culture. They don't really call it like an otaku culture. Their otaku is more of the insane kind of nerdy. But just nerd culture was a little less popular than I thought it'd be. I thought like, oh, 50, 40, 30% of the population loves that stuff. But eh, not so much. I'd say more like 20% of Japan is more into the, at the most, into the kind of that nerdy life lifestyle um i mean i've met a lot of people that weren't really into anime so i don't know really how many are decent for prank of kids and nice uh nephthys the sacred preserver this is actually the i think better link monster the other one's like becomes a god card and is really cool but this card's really good so this is two nephthys monsters and it's a link to 1200 attack but um check this out uh during your main phase if this card is link summoned you can activate one of these effects Add one level eight winged beast monster from your deck to your hand, and then you can add a ritual spell card from your grave to your hand. Okay. So basically, you replace the two monsters instantly. Check out the other fact. Destroy Nephthys monster that this card points to, so any of those new uh, Nephthys cards, and special summon a Nephthys monster with a different original name from your graveyard, but negate its effects, but most of the effects happen in the grave anyways. So, wow. Wow. So that's actually a really, I feel like, decent card there. Just like hits the combos rolling. So I'm happy we pulled that. I'll have to show you guys that secret. There's two of them. Oh, here's another Prank Kids cards. Uh, Kids Plan. And this one is uh, for Link Summoning. And then Bow Wow Park. <laughs> Bow Wow Bark. Quick effect, tribute this card, target two Prank Kids monsters with different names in grave. Accept links and add them to your hand. So this one adds them to your hand. And then Prank Kids Monster, this card points to gets a thousand attack. Not sure if you really need that one, but decent. Manju back. And nice! What? All right, so that's about as good as it gets for our boxes, you guys. Um, literally, we got the Roarin' Coaster. Oh, I guess we're missing the Fusion. Um, but yeah, the Roaring Coaster is in here. This card's incredible too. So check this out. Two Prank Kids. Two plus Prank Kids. It's a Link 4. Um, must be Link Summon. Quick effect. You can tribute this card. Destroy all spell and traps your opponent controls. If this card is in your possession and sent to the grave by an opponent's effect, you can target one card in your graveyard, accept a Link Monster, and add it to your hand. You can only use that effect once per turn. Whoa. I gotta read that second effect. If this card is in your possession, is sent to your graveyard by your opponent's card. Target one card in your grave. Except a Link Monster and add it to your hand. Wow! That's that's real good. I did not know it did that. I knew the first part. Tribute this card, destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. 
But you have, to, you have to use two prank kids to get him out. That guy's actually extremely good. Whoa. So, and 3,000 attack. Um, and guess what, you guys? We just got a box with two of them. Thanks to our little weird, weird case ratio. Look at that. Holy crap. So this is literally kind of the best prank kids box you can get. Um, again, our case is doing some weird double secret thing. I'm going to call it factory error. Um, and so let me know if you guys have had some factory air packs again in the comments below. But this is, because this is insane. When you get boxes that have um, Dodo, Doodle Doo, and you have Rip Roaring Coaster, and you get doubles of each, um, that's when it starts to get really a valuable, really valuable box. And I guess we are, we have these boxes on SimpleAndLucky.com if you guys want some factory air boxes. So, I guess jump on those if you guys get a chance. Rivalry of Warlords goes in match. And it looks like we got a Sugunocho. Suchigumo, the poisonous Mayakashi. Can't really tell what he looks like. But really cool. It was Mayakashi box. And we did get the valuable prank up cards for sure. Can we get uh, the prank up kids fusion right at the end? The secret rare. What is his name? Um, dist tribute destroy all monsters. All three of the prank kids together. Is it a fusion? No, it is a... Uh, wow, it's another wheeled Mayakashi from the beginning. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, weird factory error, guys. That's uh, not something you see every day in Yu-Gi-Oh! boxes. So again, um, this is the prank ups. Prank... Wow, really? So, I don't know why I keep saying prank up. I want to say crank up. Sorry, prank kids. So prank kids, uh, rip roaring roar coaster and do do will do. And so we're gonna do we're gonna do one more box here, you guys. Give you guys another idea of these packs. And again, this is kind of a weird factor and everything going on here. So because just as a I mean a retailer or even as the one people putting the cards in the packs, you don't want people getting the same two secrets. Even if you do plan on putting two secrets in each box, that's just funky. <laughs> Because then it's kind of annoying to buy two packs in a row, even as a card shop selling it. So, some funky cases, some funky box ratios going on. All right, let's keep going. Prank up kids again, and so the wheeled Mayakasha. So, again, the first pack will not have the ratio. And we also kind of noticed the first and last pack kind of had some consistent Mayakashi cards for us. So, we're starting it off. Ooh, so here's the uh, Mayakashi return. This card's fantastic. Tar take one, my take, take, take. I haven't heard take in a while. Take one Mayakashi card from your deck, except Mayakashi Return, and either add it to your hand or send it to the grave. Interesting. Take. You can only activate it once per turn. Card's extremely good. You can either reinforcement or foolish burial. I mean, that is extremely good. Prank kids, pranks, manju. Mayakashi Return. And again, you guys, we do have the uh, the deck bundles. So we'll have the Prank, Kid, Prank Kids deck. And oh baby, there he is. Prank Kids Battle Butler. Look at this freaking dude. It's like a Mundo looking dude. Um, but yeah, I was saying that we do have the deck bundles. So the Mayakashi deck bundle, Prank Kids deck bundle, and the Nephthys bundle. Look at that. That's a really cool picture. And you see, again, he's a fusion, so you won't see the swirls, but you will see the prank kids. Oh, no. You will see the prank kids chilling. Um, and so this one's fusion summon quick effect. Tribute this card to destroy all monsters. Your opponent controls that this card in your possession is sent to the grave. By an opponent's card, you can target one non fusion monster in your grave. Special summon it. Very cool. And I think we're about to get two of those. So I have. Wow. That is a two good couple boxes for you guys. Oh, oh. Is this box different? Okay, so here we go. Prank Kids Place. Oh, this is interesting. Well, I want to read Prank Kids Place to you guys, but now I just want to check to see. So, yes, it looks like our ratio has stopped. Oh, no. So, uh, well, some of these boxes are definitely factor error because this is, so I guess it's kind of mixed throughout the case. Um, so... Already, we're kind of seeing it mess up a little bit here. But I want to talk about Prank Kid's Place. Not palace, not house. Prank Kid's Place. Place. I don't know. Uh, when this card is activated, 
add one prank kids monster from your deck to your hand. So already replaces itself, and that's what we like when we see new field spells. When you see a field spell, replace itself immediately with uh, another card, you know, that's really good. Once per turn, if the fusion summon of a prank kids monster, uh, if you fusion summon a prank kids monster, you can have all monsters you control gain 500. If you link summon a prank kids monster, you can have all your opponent's monsters lose 500. So really cool. Replaces itself, goes and gets you a monster, and, and, it gives your guys attack boost and minuses your opponents. Wait a minute. So if you fusion summon prank kids monster, you can have all monsters you control gain five or attack. Is that once per, it is once per turn. Oh, I was making sure it was once per turn. I was like, wait a minute, wait one minute here. If we just keep fusion summoning as much as possible, are we going to get like 10,000 attack prank kids monsters? I think we, you might be able to, but uh, it is once per turn for both the link and the fusion, but you can do both of them in the same turn. Flash fusion, matriarch, preparation, devotee of Nephthys. So this is a really cool Nephthys secret I wanted to talk about. This card's ritual summoned. You can activate a spec special summon Nephthys monster from your deck. Um, also during the end phase, destroy this card. And then if this card is in the graveyard, you can target a Nephthys monster card in your hand. And if you do special summon this card, you can destroy a Nephthys card in your hand. So just another way of recycling, just recycling. The issue is with the Nephthys cards, they're not very powerful most of them. I guess you can leak up. Sure, knew he's prank kids. And there he is. Secret rare gold sarcophagus. It's really interesting how we got the factory error box and then we kind of got the um, regular box here. Huh. So we got a gold sarco in this one though. That's really cool. So that is the, just to give you guys another look at it, secret rare gold sarcophagus. Did we have, I don't, did we, we don't, we didn't have a secret gold sarco before this one. And for some people, this card's been pretty tough to pull, but for us, not so much. So I wanted, I was going to say it was a short print, but not really. On average, one per box, I think, so. Secret rare. And it looks like for the most part, we've seen all of the supers at this point. So Again, just a 60 card set. And remember, all cards are on SimpleLucky.com, including deck bundles boxes and packs and I'm 100% sure we will have some of the factory air boxes so this one case was the entire box was almost factory air oh another doodle do come on baby let's get a another roaring coaster as well come on prank kids prank kids time baby oh another pa uh, place so that's weird though. See, now on the same side, we got two places and we got two Mayakashi returns, right? So, already something funky's going down. It's already looking kind of funk. And nice, Nephthys the Sacred Flame. So, uh, this is the kind of like god card mode for the Nephthys deck. Check this guy out. Well, one, he looks cool. The Sacred Flame. Uh, so 2 plus, he's a link 3, 2 plus including a ritual monster, 2 plus monsters by the way, so it doesn't truly require uh, much to get him out. Uh, when this card is in the extra monster zone and monsters your opponent controls cannot target Nephthys monsters in the main monster zones for attacks. This card gains effects based on the number of ritual monsters used for the link summon. So they actually made this guy playable not just in a Phoenix deck or an Nephthys deck. So that's interesting. It's a ritual link deck that this guy is made for. So if you use one ritual monster, cannot be destroyed by battle. Two ritual monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects and gains 1,200 attack. So battle and card effects for two ritual monsters. Um, now three ritual monsters. Oh, it gains a 1,200, so it's a 36. Now three ritual monsters, you guys, is neither player can target this card with card effects. Too bad it's neither player, because if you could target it, you know, they could be like boom, boom, pow. But still, your opponent can't target now. So uh, that's God card mode, and it gains another 1,200 attacks. So that's 4,800 attack God card mode, and um, well, I guess obelisk mode. And yes, can't be targeted, unaffected by card effects, and and can't be destroyed by battle. Sorry, can't be destroyed by card effects, not unaffected. By card effects. That might be too insane, but still, pretty epic card there. Of course, the card on the pack. As you guys can kind of see on the pack and the box, just prank kids, Maya Kasha, my, my, Maya Kasha's and uh, Nephthys.
Okay, so another poisonous, poisonous guy. You know, I see this dog in the prank kids cards. Are they making, again, are they, I can't remember if they're making more prank kids. Dog's kind of just chilling in all the traps. So another second gold Sarko. So I'm kind of curious to see if we get doubles of a lot of our secrets from this box. It's still, oh wow, that's three Mayakasha returns. I like that card, so you know what? I'll take it. And of course, it's for a Mayakasha deck, but still. Wow, and it is another Doodle Doo. Oh my gosh, that's four Doodle Doos in two boxes. Jeez. You know, I'll take another Butler, Battle Butler. Prank kids, come on, baby. Daki, stay here. Daki. Does seem more not straight factory like the first one. Oh, the wheeler's back. We pulled him in the beginning. Shapu, Shapu, the wheel, my gosh. Steel sword. Oh, nice disciple. Disciple is your searcher for the Phoenix deck. Extremely good. Summon it. Gets it out. Brings his monsters. Destroy it. Magic traps. Oh, we got another butler. Oh, baby, man. I mean, like, this is godly, too. This is insane. I don't even know. This is, uh, it's pretty insane. I realize these cards are kind of normal ratios, but this is two really good boxes. You get a double gold Sarko box and a double battle butler box. They got the kids place in this one, too. Woo! Three gold Sarkos in one box. Jesus. I mean, it'll retain value. It'll probably be like a $5 card forever, but just like, yo, golden. Yukiona pulled her already as well. Two more packs, you guys. Honestly, I want more ro roaring coasters if we're going for extreme value here. And just the fact that I like these Frank Kids cards. But, I mean, uh, God Mode, Sacred Phoenix cards, pretty cool. And, oh, wow, three doodle doos. Whoa! I think Konami was like, simple and lucky, you've been stuck with some pretty interesting short print funky boxes. So, here's three gold sarcoco sarcocos, sar sarco sarcophaguses, and three doodle doos. It's the cock from the, the bird over here. Cock a doodle doo. Um, so, yeah, you guys. What is happening? I don't know. This is, this is a prank. Konami, this is a prank. That's what this is. Last pack of Destiny. Three doodles. Three cold. You know, like, if this is a freaking third Battle Butler, that would be incredible. Oh, what? Four gold Sarkos. What? What is happening? Whoa, that was like, whoa, that was beyond three Butlers. Fold gold. Four, fold. This is a four gold sarcophagus. Fold. Four gold sarcophaguses, you guys. What just happened with these couple boxes? I mean, I just want to open up more boxes from these cases just to show you guys what's going on with these boxes. Okay, all right, one more. Let's just let's do one more. All right. All right, let's see if we get another double secret shenanigans or if we get four secrets of the same card in one box. And it's a freaking gold Sarko. That's not just any normal secret. It's not like a... I don't know, Yukiona, the money cash. No, it's four gold Sarkos. That's crazy, you guys. That is a consistent, powerful card that is very good in, uh, what's that deck? Thunder, Thunder Dragon? Yeah. So, uh, let's make some room here. Well, we're gonna do one more box, just because I'm just curious, and I'm having fun, and I'm hoping you guys are having fun, because I'm having fun. Um, check out these ratios. But yeah, again with those uh, undead videos, um, I was it was just right before I went to Japan, and I just wanted to get those undead con uh, the content ready for you guys. It took a little while longer to pack than I thought it would, and uh, so I apologize for being so tired of those videos. I know a fun tired video where I'm just kind of cruising through the video um, is fun every now and then, but to have a whole bunch like that in a row, it's a, it's a lesson learned, and also continuing a, I guess. Mm, themed project for so many videos straight can be uh, 
a bit much. All right, you guys, four gold sarcos. I'm sorry, this is all crazy right now, but uh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm just I'm having fun. So let's go. Okay, so first pack, we're kind of done with supers. So disciple of Nephthys, we're gonna start with her, and then let's see where our next pack takes us. I'm just, what is going on with these boxes? And it's a double disciple in a row. So I think we're already back. We're back to our, we're back to our, what's it called? Factory error. So let's do this. We got two disciples in a row. And again, she's a good card, so I'm, I'm glad to see her. So just some insane boxes. Oh, here's Skeletal King. Yeah, the Mayakashi. Let's see if we can do it again. And there he is. Look at that, you guys. The factory error is back. And we got the one the box that wasn't factory error out of this case. And I'm telling you guys, it's not happening very often. The one box that wasn't factory error is a freaking four gold Sarko box. I didn't even I haven't even seen or heard of a box that had two three gold sarks, two three dotas. But to get four? Four? Four gold sarcos. Double prank kids, guys. It's happening. So here. Double prank it. So the factory air is underway. And like I said to you guys, I know that we have more boxes on SuperLucky.com with this factory air. So that's crazy. Not guaranteed, obviously. I will not guarantee a factory air. But uh, it is happening. So, oh, there's a gold Sarko. Can we get, I, get you, I bet you guys, I'll bet you a gold Sarko right now. We're getting another gold Sarko. <laughs> all right and let's see if we actually get a consistent double secret all the way through here so graceful mayakashi and then let's see if we get another one nice so it was double secret all the way through that side and then let's just go one more time here this is a very fun factory air opening to come back to after being in japan I gotta say that much, you guys, so I appreciate that. I feel like that's a combination of the Yu-Gi-Oh gods and you guys continuing to support Simple and Lucky. So, thank you for that. And so, a double secret. Again, my Akashi guy. Honestly, I get it. The set, the set's value isn't a freaking Star Striker, Sky Striker uh, set like, um, you know, that other guy, the other set over there. But, uh, yes, the set is still fun. It has prank kids. It has Gold Sarcophagus Secret. It has classic cards like Manju as a Super, goes in Rivalry, and Thunder Dragon as Supers. It has the new Sacred Phoenix cards, which is a Tier 2 deck. Um, it has the Mayakashis. I don't know what tier that deck is. But, you know, it's just like maybe Tier 3 for Phoenix. But, you know what I mean? It's still pretty cool as a uh, classic to new player. You've got your new cards, but you also have some old classics reprinted. And everybody loves zombies. I'm just getting a little tired of the Japanese-themed zombies. I would like to see more crazy-looking zombies. But that's just me. Uh, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. I guess I saw enough of Japan when I was there. <laughs> just kidding. But just, uh, Japan was a wonderful place. Very clean. Oh, my God. So clean. How? How do people... How are people so clean? Just absolutely insane. What else? Um... Transportation systems crazy. I, I haven't been to Europe um, when I was really young, but I haven't been to Europe really, and so I understand uh, from many of you guys that you've talked about the transportation system in Europe is pretty cool as well. But over in Japan, it's like I feel like it's on a whole different level, or just on a level higher than that. But still, uh, very insane. Yeah, and it's not like I live in San Francisco or New York, which have subways all over the place. But man, in Japan, just everywhere is a train. Two dakis in a row. Um, also, people were very nice. Um, it was just, it's crazy being one place that has the same ethnicity. Because America's kind of like a, mis a mixed pot. So, I wasn't sure if people really liked me at first. But, I mean, there's a good amount of foreigners there. So, But not very many Americans. Do Americans not travel that much? I don't know. Um, Yuki Ona's back. But yeah, I saw like maybe three or four American people. I wasn't in Tokyo, but I was in Osaka. And I went to a lot of big places a uh, populous populated places in Osaka. all right let's say let's say three or four american groups just to just in case so three or four american groups when i saw i don't know 50 30 to 50 european and chinese you know groups but still obviously way more japanese people double yukiona 
Uh, but yes, very nice. Like I remember there was one time and I was trying to figure out the uh, Ikoka card. Ikoka card is basically a way to fill up your travel credit on a card. Um, so when you're traveling the trains, you don't have to buy a ticket every time and then input a ticket. You just use your little card beep, and go through. And uh, I dropped one of my uh, change, some of the change I was using to put money into the Ikoka card. By the way, $5 coins are a thing over there. There's no $5 bill or is there? I don't know. But there's $5 coin. And uh, yeah, so don't drop your coins because you can lose your $5 coin. Like $5 coin, you guys. I lost one right when I got there. I was like, why is there a $5 coin? I'm going to lose this. So it uh, took some getting used to. But anyway, so I dropped one of my coins. One that wasn't the $5 one, but a man much older, like 60 plus, just ran by, grabbed it, and picked it up for me and gave it to me. I was like, dude, thank you. But you didn't need to do that. But thank you. You know, I was, I was going to get it. But it's just it's very nice. Very nice people. And another cockadoo dude. Did we, like, this is three boxes. Crazy. Crazy. Double cock. A doodle. Dude. Uh, so, yes. Uh, again, I'll have a video just talking about Japan, my experience overall. Uh, Japanese toilets, though, very interesting. Uh, I've heard kind of stories from people that went to India having a similar experience. So I can't say I haven't heard it before, but interesting toilets. Um, more of the classic style Japanese toilet. And two Cerulean Sacred Phoenixes to finish the box off. Um, but yes, Japan was a great place. Video's coming soon for that. I don't know how fast we can get those edited, though. Those are pretty difficult because we have to piece together lots of content. But I do want to kind of just open up my suitcases and show you guys just what I brought back. I feel like that'd be a really interesting video. So I kind of want to do that, but it's kind of weird, but kind of not. I don't know. Just skip over the underwear part, and I think we're good. So, uh, but yeah, I want to show you guys what I brought back from Japan. And uh, again... Big shout out to uh, the winner of the uh, Hero Dex. And for all you guys who um, support Simply Lucky While I Was Gone, I, I, again, I don't want to apologize for the undead content, but just I kind of just want to say I'm sorry for being so tired when I made those videos, but it was just kind of a fast reaction situation to, I was like, man, we really had this content set up. And it was our first time really trying to create a ton of content while I was in a different country. And because uh, I feel like that's going to happen here and there, especially uh, we have plans to go back to Japan. Um, but it's just it is the creator, the way where Yu-Gi-Oh was created, why we not want to be there. Um, just card games in general. But yeah, you guys. And so we'll work on having better content or have, coming up with a better way to release more um, active, present content. Maybe while I'm in Japan, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's just a learning process. So I thank you guys for your patience with that. And again, you guys, all these cards are on SimpleLucky.com. We have deck bundles on there. We have the packs. We have the boxes. I think we're putting the boxes at $59.99. Um, maybe. Yeah, let's let's do $59.99 to start on the boxes, you guys. So uh, I believe that's kind of the cheapest you'll find them. So that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, also we're trying to sell the cards a little less than maybe eBay or Troll and Toad this time around. TC player is a bit difficult, so we'll try to at least maybe get on the same level. But, of course, when thousands of markets are going against each other, it's kind of hard to compete. So, uh, but yeah, we'll see what we can do. We'll try and get lower prices this time. But, again, deck bundles, we will only promote those because this is a deck builder set. So, literally, it's like three big archetypes in here with the Maya Kashas, the Prank Kids, and the Sacred Phoenix cards. So, uh, pretty cool there. And shout out to those epic patrons that have continued supporting Simply and Lucky. I know we've been trying to message you guys a lot. And make sure to stay connected. Get you guys your hidden summoner boxes. Um, the patrons, uh, the VIP program patrons, you guys are getting your hidden summoner boxes at 55. And uh, But yeah, so hopefully, um, I'm just, I hope you guys are all happy with how we've been kind of keeping up with you guys, making sure we're still on the same page. And so, just can't thank you guys enough for all the continued support and Simply and Lucky, especially while I was in a different country. Again, those videos coming soon. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And simply unlucky signing out.